Hi, my name is Matthew Haggerty. I'm one of Biota's data scientists. In this session, we demonstrate how Genesis AI organizes our sample collection information for both well cuttings and produced fluids. We also present our strict quality control cutoffs to ensure the highest quality DNA signal is carried into downstream analysis. To start, notice our landing page, which organizes the workflow from sample collection through QC through analysis from top to bottom. Today, we're going to look at sample collection. Sample collection dashboard serves two purposes, to indicate the date and number of well cuttings and produce fluids collected from each well. Wells can be selected from the map view or the tree map. Sample types, cuttings and produce fluids are also filter options. As I click on standard SAM, the bottom panel shows me that 1,200 cutting samples were collected on June 1st. We select the orange produced fluids. We see that five fluid samples were collected weekly for the first three months of production and bi-weekly after that, which is Biota's technical recommendation. It is also recommended to collect frac fluids during completion. The top right scatter plot shows our strict in-house quality control cutoffs. We plot biomass or total DNA recovered on the x-axis and subsurface signal on the y-axis. Think of this graph as a signal-to-noise ratio. DNA is a very sensitive measurement, and care must be taken to ensure that technical or background signals are not carried into downstream analysis. Most Permian projects will contain a majority of well cuttings passing this 80% DNA subsurface signal cutoff, which produces the highest confidence results. We can see here that a single well cutting fell below our 80% cutoff, and that 100% of our produced fluids in orange past the 80% subsurface cutoff. I hope you have enjoyed this introduction of Biota's Genesis AI DNA Diagnostic Platform. Please join us for future videos. Thank you.